Good morning, Springbrook. It's Friday, November 8th. We hope everyone is off to a great start to their day. I'm Diana, and with me today is Adeline, and we're here to bring you the morning announcements. Last call for students who want to run for Mr. and Ms. Springbrook. Please find the application in the 2021 Advisory Google Classroom. Please ignore the deadline on the application. Today will be the absolute deadline, which will determine if the contest will still be held. Please turn in completed forms to Ms. Curtis, 11th grade class sponsor in F309. Reminder to all 12th graders in IB History or IB English, permission slips and payment for the museum field trip are due today. Please return your assigned forms to your IB History or IB English teacher as soon as possible. See Ms. Trivers in F104 with any questions. Are you interested in student activism and getting involved in is issues such as climate change, gun control, immigration, and participating in rallies, marches, then join Springbrook's MoCo for Change yeah. chapter in Ms. Nicholson's room, G201, on Thursday, November 14th. Interested in being a part of the Library Media Center Club? Members will read books, plan events, offer suggestions, and more. An interest meeting will be held today during lunch in the back of the Library Media Center. A raffle will be held at the end of the meeting. And what are the prizes? Books, of course. Don't forget to apply. We will hold a scholarship in FAFSA and college application session for seniors today in the Career Center during lunch. The first 30, 36 students who apply for a scholarship and work on applications or FAFSA will receive a donut. Montgomery County Volunteer Fire and Rescue is coming to Springbrook to present its volunteer opportunities that you can use for SSL hours, career development, and even an internship. Please come to the auditorium on Thursday, November 14 during lunch to hear more about being a hero. See Ms. Brown in G202 if you have questions. Well, that does it for Diana and me, but before we go, take a look at this important announcement from Ms. Olenek. Have a great day, Blue Devils. Good morning, Springbrook. I'm Mrs. Olenek, and I'm the AP coordinator here at Springbrook, and this is an announcement for AP students. I want to clarify some information. First of all, if you are sitting in an AP class, you are registered for an AP exam. Not paying your fee does not cancel your exam. You need to come see me specifically if you do not plan on taking an exam. There are procedures that need to be followed. On November 14th, you are to have your deposit or waiver fee paid by that point. If not, you will be charged an additional $40 per test by College Board. That is something I cannot change. In addition, waivers were due last Friday, November 1st. If you turned it in after that deadline, I will process it, but it takes time. So at this point, you may have to pay the $40 deposit and you will get reimbursed the difference. I also had several uh, waiver forms that came in with a parent signature. Unfortunately, the parent's last name did not match a student's name in the database. If you think that was you, you dropped yours off Friday, please come see me so we can straighten this out. I also gave the list of the last names to every AP teacher so you can ask with your teacher and see if one of those forms is yours. Now, let's talk about payment. There are two ways to pay. First way, is to go to the school bank. When you come out of the main office and you're heading to the cafeteria, there is a glass window. Ms. Larson is in charge of the school bank. You simply go there with your student ID, let her know that you're trying to pay your AP deposit or waiver, and she will take a check or cash for payment. The second way is to go to the Springbrook website, and there is pay fees online. When you go to pay fees online, Oh, this one worked. Okay. When you go to pay online, automatically IB shows up. You need to go to this top part where it says pay obligations, click here. Okay. So when you click here, it will open up a login. At that login, you need to put in your account. Either your parents start one, started one year when you were in elementary school, middle school, or high school or you may need to create one. When you put in your login, it will bring up all your obligations for the school, and that's how you pay online. A lot of students were confused because when they clicked pay fees online, all they saw were the IB fees. You need to click where it says, click here to pay obligations, and then this screen opens up. 
I hope that clarifies, and please make sure that you don't wait to the last minute and have your payment in by November 14th, or it is a $40 late fee from College Board. Thank you.